right, what's up, internet people? Uh, welcome back to the farm. Um, right now, it is, it is one week since we first put these three barrows here out on in the forest using the electric tape. I had another video where I uh, showed, we had them in this training pen over here, getting them used to the electrical tape, and then I opened it up, and I've had them in this forested area now for about a week. Um, so what I wanted to do is check in and say, okay, well, let's look at how this area has changed uh, after one week of having the pigs over here rooting around, foraging, and that, and that sort of thing, uh, just to see how it looks different. Now, I will say we had a really dry week. I don't, we either had no rain or we only had a little sprinkle or something like that. We haven't had much rain, so things have gotten quite a bit dried out. Um, the pigs have been rooting around and foraging and stuff, and they've also been trampling and stuff, but I just wanted to be able to compare you know, after a week's time of having pigs on a piece of ground, how does it change? What does it look like? Also, at first I had them there where they could have access to this area up here, with their food and water and stuff. Then they started to tear this area up more than I really wanted them to. Um, this is a road through here, so we want to keep that like pretty, pretty good condition. And we're going to keep our training pen here, and this is just what we're going to use because it's close to the pasture where we can bring out piglets or whatever and train them, and then they'll go off into the forest. So we'll take a look at this pig pasture and see how it's changed, and we'll look at some of the others too, and, and you can kind of see the effects that, that it has um, with pigs on pieces of land for different amounts of time. All right. So, here are the guys. Just moved their huts over there. So you can see they've really uh, rooted and trampled quite a bit here. Of course, a lot of the biomass has dried out too because like I say, we had a pretty dry week, but they've been eating it, munching on it, digging around, rooting for stuff. Um, you can really see what they're doing here. Obviously, we want to sort of plan uh, how long to have them on a piece of ground, how much do we really want them tilling up and rooting. Um, we don't really want it to get too heavily, heavily grazed um, before we move them um, and the idea is we'll sow some different types of forage grasses in here and start to turn this area into a, a lush paddock for for grazing for the sheep and goats so you can see you know they've rooted around they've kind of bunched it up um, I uh, one thing I did was I had some brush piles that I wanted them to to scatter around because uh, the brush piles were all kind of getting overgrown and stuff so I just threw some corn I sprinkled some corn in on the brush piles and they went for it and kind of you know scattered around the brush just like you'd expect them to do and you can see where they have been rooting in this area here but uh I'll do a check-in about once a week and we'll see how long we want to have them on this little piece of ground before we move them. Hey guys, I don't have a snack for you right now, sorry. Anyway, probably looks quite a bit different than it looked a week ago. We'll have to compare the videos side by side and see. But yeah, they're doing a good job. So let's look over here. This is the main pig, pig pasture across the way. and We've had pigs continuously in here for over a year and you can see it's all super rooted up here these are the mamas and we have three babies left we're selling a couple today at an auction so we've got three piglets left out here with their mom and you can really see that they've rooted up all through here and we knew it was going to get kind of nuked like this um, with having pigs permanently here and the strategy has been to just throw lots of straw in here. And we're out of straw. We have to get some more, but we're going to get some more straw. And the plan is for these two mamas to be, this is where they're going to be for the winter. And we'll just keep throwing in lots of straw in here to add organic matter and for bedding for them and stuff. And the piglets there, when they get a little bit older, we're going to train them to the electrical wire. And then they're going to go out in the forest with the, with the other guys. And the mamas will be here. This will be their home pasture. And back here, in this section, is where we have our boar. And we want to control when they're breeding. We don't just want to let them breed any old time. So we have a way to, to separate them here. So this is the boar's bachelor pad paddock. It's fenced off with a gate and stuff. 
don't know where he is right now. He's probably taking a nap in the woods or something. But uh, anyway, you can see what it's like back here. We had the pigs back here during the summer, and you can see they've like, you know, eaten up a lot of the biomass on the ground and stuff and grazed and cleared. This area was completely choked with overgrowth um, when we started this project, and the pigs have done a great job in clearing it. So anyway, and then you can kind of see over on the other side over there where there's some grass growing. Um, it's been a couple months since we had the pigs over there, and we had sowed some grass seed and stuff, and so I'll walk around and show you that. But that area is starting to come back pretty nicely. So we're just, we're just uh, kind of planning which pigs go where, when, for breeding or for grazing, and overall trying to keep the place. And there's, there's no smell or anything, by the way. Um, it's not gross at all. The pigs are pretty clean. They uh, usually pick a few spots where they go to the bathroom. Um, and uh, they're pretty tidy animals, in my opinion. So over here, this is a paddock that right now has been closed off to the pigs for a while. So you'll see areas where they have rooted up and then also areas that are starting to come back with some growth. So around under this holly tree, they rooted quite a bit, but you can see some nice grass growing over there by that brush pile. Uh, yeah, so the forage can recover pretty well, um, especially in areas like over there that gets lots of sunlight. Now the forage will grow back much slower in areas that are really shady that are not getting as much sun. So that's what we see here where it's still pretty bare. But what we'll do is spread grass seed and spread straw and get a good crop of forage for the spring and get that growing nice and strong. And then at some point we'll let the pigs out here and they can forage around. And we'll just rotate them between these permanent paddocks, permanent fence stand paddocks, and select some from time to time, train them to the electric wire, and then move them around through the woods. Because we got lots of woods over there, plenty of space for the pigs to hang out. So, so far our experiment is working well. Uh, the pigs seem to be happy. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Oh, there's our boar, I heard him come. He must have woke up from his nap, he's over there grunting. I'll walk back over, we'll see if we'll get him on camera. Can get another shot of the babies over here. Ah, oh, there he is. His name is Millhouse. And he's very, very friendly. He's like a, a lap pig. He'll just about crawl in your lap. He's very nice. He'll let you scratch his ears. He's put on weight really, really well. He's about a year old. We got him from another farm to kind of mix up our genetics, obviously. Not have inbreeding. Well, look at these lazy guys right here. Just laying in the sun. Pretty good life there, fellas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Millhouse. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. How are you, buddy? Yeah. He's very handsome. Look at him. Cooney, cooney boar. All splotchy. With his raccoon eyes and his big eyebrows. So what's the latest in the important piggy issues, Millhouse? Yeah? You're looking well fed? You miss your girlfriends? Well, in the springtime, we'll bring you back, uh, we'll, we'll get you guys together again. How about that? Alright, so far so good. Hope you all are enjoying the videos.